CBS, The Bold and the Beautiful spoilers revealed that Brooke has always been a thorn in Sheila's eyes. It's certainly no coincidence that Brooke always gets the man Sheila's interested in. Brooke had stolen Eric from Sheila before. Now that situation is happening again, when Brooke has just broken up with Ridge. Sheila was really worried Deacon would get back together with Brooke after hearing that she and Deacon had ended their marriage. Sheila had been living at Deacon's house for the past time, and she actually considers Deacon as her man. Now that Deacon admits he proposed to Brooke, Sheila is very disappointed and loses faith in life. Brooke was always stealing Sheila's man. This was deeply embedded in Sheila's mind, and she couldn't let this go on forever. Sheila would want to get rid of Brooke and deny her access to Ridge. Coincidentally, this time the Forrester family decided to have a carnival in their own home to celebrate Halloween. Everyone is invited to attend, and of course, it's indispensable to transform into different characters. Sheila will take this opportunity to dress up as an evil witch and come to the party. If she was in that form, no one would notice her, and she could act freely. Since everyone was invited to the party, Brooke was, of course, also present. The festival is organized by the Forrester family, so it's very crowded and bustling. Brooke is still here, but her mood is not happy at all. That's right, she couldn't comfortably join the party because she was about to lose the man she loved so much. Sheila took advantage of the time when people weren't paying attention, and Brooke was alone when she approached her. Sheila took out the knife she had prepared and stabbed Brooke. Because it was so noisy there, no one noticed that Brooke was in danger right now. After she committed the crime, she immediately sneaked out of the party. After Sheila left, Brooke collapsed. People around then realized someone had been attacked and quickly called an ambulance. This is definitely a case of intentional murder, so the police are forced to investigate. While Brooke was taken to the hospital for treatment, the police also went to the mansion to find evidence. Brooke doesn't have too many enemies, so maybe the police will find the culprit quickly. Deacon realizes that Sheila is the one who attacked Brooke. Sheila was jealous of Brooke when he admitted to Sheila that he had proposed to her and sought to get rid of Brooke.